welcome back to learning partner please do subscribe and like my videos so and keep the bell icon to keep the upcoming videos updated so in this video we are going to see what are the basic interview questions when we talk about the html this video is mainly focused for the freshers and having zero to two years of experience so let's get started with so first question everyone will ask like current the html5 version is there so everyone will ask like what are the advantages of html5 okay so to talk about first is the doc type because we, uh, prior to html5 we had that long string but we don't have to use that long string we just have to use the doc type okay then improve accessibility so with html5 we have some new tags let's say header footer nav section aside so with this you can design your page so that your code can be separated like all the header part will go into the header tag in uh, footer all the tags uh, and the design for the footer will go into the footer nav bar will go into the nav again to separate the multiple section we have a section tag to create the sidebar we have the side tag okay so just to rather than having div and adding the classes you can you make use of this tags cleaner code again this comes with the uh, availability of this different tags mobile optimization okay so as the mobile industry have grown a, up to a level where everyone is using mobile rather than having access to the laptops and their system so all the website and the application need to be responsive okay so that is another advantage then cross browser compatibility let's say it is a google chrome or internet explorer firefox opera or safari okay so every browser supports this html5 version then geolocation so with geolocation api we with navigator is that thing we will see that so it allows user to share its current location okay then game develop game development so major advantage of html5 was uh, canvas and the svg so with canvas we can design games which we can play on the browser okay so there are many games which are designed to play on the browser only with canvas then improved storage so again we can store cookies and everything that that again came with the html5 let's see the next question semantic element so semantic element again it's a uh, these are some tags which tells us both the browser and the developer that what it meant for okay so semantic tag helps the search engine also and is used to determine the importance and the context of the web pages when we talk about accessibility so semantic tags plays very important role so when someone asks you what are the advantage so only two advantages first is the seo search in uh, seo helps there are these tags will help in the seo and second is the accessibility you can see some of the particle aside details free caption figures footer header and times and summary these are some semantic elements we have so likewise if we talk about non semantic elements div and spans are the non uh, non semantic element because they doesn't let us know like what their tag is going to be do okay then doc type as we have already seen so doc type or a document type declaration is an instruction that tells the browser about the markup language okay so doc type is not an element or not or it's not even a tag it just tells the browser like the version of the html page okay if doc type is in capital for html5 is a case sensitive okay so you can see it is written like this then what are meta tags so meta tags means information about the data meta the basic word is meta means information about anything okay so meta tag in the html provide the information about the html page okay it provides important information about a document this tags generally base use pairs of like uh, value key value pair data to describe the html document as expiry date name we have to use keywords for the seo all then document author name everything will go into the meta tags okay then what are the new form elements in html5 so data list is there key j in output meter progress there again with input type we have color date date time time email and month these are some new form elements we have got in html5 let's see next one okay one more like uh, can we have more than one script tag in an html page okay so when we work with the javascript we have to open a script tag and then we write javascript instead of that 
okay so we can yes we can have more than one script tag inside the tag the order of execution will be from top to the bottom i mean the script section we have in the head will execute first then in the body okay then block level elements so block level element will always take the full width so major advantages of the block length block level elements like if you don't need any elements in that current row okay so in the current line so we can you know, make use of the block level elements so you can see p and the divs are the block level again hr is there br is there which takes the full screen okay what is html canvas so as i told you like canvas is kind of a thing we have got in html5 which allows us to use uh, give them which allows us to uh, in the development of the games okay so as you can see html canvas element is used to draw graphics via javascript so we can use graphics like we have uh, create rectangle create circle several different methods are there which will work on the canvas okay you can see path circle text adding images we design uh, the html tags is for the canvas is like this we have to design height and width okay and by using by providing id again we can play with the canvas the next is svg so svg stands for the scalable vector graphics it basically defines the xml format so as you can see in the svg we can uh, create a circle then uh, its stroke and everything color width okay that we can do so advantage of svg SVG images can be created and edited with any text editor. SVG images can be searched or indexed or scripted or complex. SVG images are scalable. SVG images can be printed with the high quality. So, where we use the SVG images? Suppose like you are going to design a website where so many images are there and that website is going to be responsive as well. Okay. So, rather than going for a JPG or GIF image, always go for the SVG because SVG uh, images are so scalable so it will it won't uh, what we can say blur or scatter according to the web page it will adjust itself okay the next is geolocation as this is a feature of html5 so as i have told you like it gives us the current location so with you can see navigator geolocation dot get current position okay here we can by this we will get the current longitude and latitude of the uh, where browser is okay then void elements so as you can see void so we came void like methods and the functions so functions are meant to do something voids are nothing to do something so some tags are there which are which does not have any content in it means the html element tag which does not have a content in it it's it only has a start tag okay as you can see br tag it doesn't have any content hr tag isn't it doesn't have any content image tag it doesn't have any closing okay input link so these are the example of void elements so just it is just the word which confuse but these are the example you can see label is not a uh, void element because inside label we can have some content paragraph is also not div is also not okay then different between sas and the css so who are not familiar with the css what css is so these are the various framework we have so if we talk about css is a cascading style sheet it's a basically a scripting language which i mean css language css based for just like uh, adding color background color height font width number of things we can do with this then scss syntactically awesome style sheet like scss is there sas is there less is there so these are the preprocessors means we can declare variables okay inside this let's say if you can see dollar white is a variable which is storing the white color so now rather than using this white color i can use dollar white ev everywhere see okay same like you want to font i have stored the font here now i can use you want to font wherever i require so these things were not possible in the css like declaring variables and functions now it is possible with sas and less okay let's go to the next part different types of list in html when we talk about list means we have unordered list ordered list and dt and dd okay then one more important question is like what are the uh, target when we talk about anchor tag for redirection purpose we use the anchor tag so we have a property in that that is target so in target we have 
self option blank option parent and the top so normally everyone will ask you like blank if we have an anchor tag and if i click on it that same page will load into the current browser if we don't uh, provide any target but if we provide target blank so it will open that url into the new tag same as a parent it opens the document in the parent frame only if we have uh, i frame in i frame in our current page so again this will uh, this will work in that okay explain the use of like iframe so iframe allows us to embed another html page into a page okay like that if you need to integrate a google you uh, sorry youtube video into your page so you have to use a high frame of that youtube page youtube video okay then difference between local storage and session storage so local storage both are used to store the data and both will store the data in key and value form form of the data so local storage will hold the data unless we clear it okay and this data can be shared between multiple windows of the browser okay data doesn't get deleted unless we clear it okay but in case of session storage it will store the data for one session data will not be accessible to the other tab it will be only accessible to the current window okay and data is so session storage clears its data when we close the tab or the window okay so it based on the uses we have to use it local storage data will store doesn't matter if you close the browser or not but session storage which will clear the data if you close the browser then html attributes so what are attributes so attributes provides additional information about the html elements okay they are defined directly after the tag name they only appear in the opening tag and not the closing tag okay so if you can see this is a simple text box so here you can see name placeholder these are nothing but the attributes okay likewise in div we create id class data so many attributes are there for uh, different different elements okay because name if we use this name attribute on the div it won't i mean it won't create any error but it doesn't have any use on that div element same as a placeholder so placeholders and name are only applicable on the text box okay next one more thing like how do we optimize the website so to optimize website we have several ways like using directly storing the js and the external css into our any folder we can use the cdn then file compression to reduce the size then file concatenation it reduce the http calls then minifying the script if we have a script tag rather than using directly that script script tag we can minimize that script then we can use it okay then if we have a script tag we can add a defer or a sync based on the use what we uh, what execution style we need okay then lazy loading instead of loading all the assets at once we can load the uh, let's say images or fonts as per needed okay then anchor tag so anchor tag i have i have already previously told you like we use it to redirection and anchor tag is used to link two sections or web page or a website template means we can use anchor tag to read to navigate to the different page also or within same page also different sections also we can toggle using anchor tag okay what is the difference between block and the inline block so as i have told you like block level elements always start with the new line and stretches to the left and the right side mean it will take the full width okay div is an example of the block level element then in line an inline element is opposite to the block element it does not start with the new line it takes only the necessary width whatever the content it has it will take only that width so span is a kind of a example for that okay so these are the basic html interview question because if we are going for the interview either we go for the angular react net java so anyone won't go into the deep of the html so far but it will cover some of the basic questions so these are the all basic question you should prepare okay so please do like subscribe and like my videos and to in the next video we are again going to come up with uh, some programs on the javascript some famous css interview questions and many more thank you